Okay, everyone, welcome to All Things Iceland, H Jewels, and we're in the north, which I'm so excited about. I love this part of the country. There's so many amazing things to see. And I'm going to be showing you some of the awesome attractions that you can see up here, including Akanere, which is where we are right now. I partnered with Go Car Rental Iceland in order to show you this trip that I'm on and one of their lovely cars. And if you use my discount code in the description box, you can save 10% on your full cost of your rental with them. And they're located in Nickney. So let's get on with the adventure! <laughs> and this is just meant to be a little highlight reel of things you can do in Akureyri. This is in the downtown area. I always love this sign. And Hapnarstraite, which is the main street, looks like this. I always enjoy going by the shore to see into the fjord and on a day like this where it's bright and sunny and we can see how beautiful the water is in the surrounding view. It's really nice just to walk around. And of course, Akurerar Kirkja, which is a church on the hill. And as you're in the town driving, you might notice these red heart-shaped stoplights, which I absolutely love. When you're on your way out of town, there's a tunnel that you have to pay for, and you can do that for in advance. I will, of course, have a link in the description in which you can see how you can, you know, pay for it. It's super simple, but you have to pay or you'll get fined or your rental car company will get fined, and then you'll have to pay for that on the back end plus extra fee. Driving out in the north is always so beautiful. And so our first stop after Akureyri is Gouda Foss. And as we continue more north, which is essentially these are the stops in the diamond circle, we're in Husavik, which has a really adorable church. It's really beautiful and is also known for whale watching. And if you go to the harbor, you can definitely see a lot of ships there for whale watching. And I've been fortunate to see some whales while here. After touring around town, I recommend going to GOC Baths, which is on the top of the hill. It's so relaxing and the views are gorgeous. If you saw the Eurovision Song Contest movie with Will Ferrell, Husavik is where the main characters are from, and here are the fake elf houses. We are currently in Ausperke, which is hands down my favorite place to visit in the north. It's so gorgeous here and we'll see why. Come with me. This area is just so magical to me and from this viewpoint you could see Bacher, which means bottom pond and every time I come to this pond it is always so still and I think it's because of the fact that the walls, the rock formations on the walls are enclosing this area and protecting it. Also the way in which Ausperke is said to have been formed is when Odin's horse Sleipnir put one of his eight large hooves down in the earth. He made this imprint, which this is really a, a glacial canyon, but still, the story is pretty cool. And these are pretty easy places to get to that I'm showing to you where you can see amazing views of Ausperke and just how many trees there are here, which is very unusual for Iceland. stop is on the west side of the most powerful waterfall in Iceland and there's a little bit of uneven ground to walk there but it's so worth it to see the Tifos. Currently at the very beautiful Kverer, which is a natural hot spring area. 
and the colors here are amazing. The one tough thing is that it smells a lot of sulfur, farts essentially, or eggs, whatever one you want to think of. But look how beautiful it is here. Definitely worth a stop if you have the time in North Iceland. I'm this is my second time being here, and the first we were here during like winter ish time, but it was also super muddy during the summer. If it hasn't been raining, then that means it won't be so muddy and it's easier to walk for sure. What's great is that Kverir is so close to Lake Miva. And you can actually see here when we pass by this little area how blue the water is. It reminds you of the Blue Lagoon. And they actually have a Mivat nature bath if that's something that you want to try. But Lake Mivat itself is just gorgeous. And it's really fascinating how this area was developed regarding the volcanic activity. And there's all types of different formations. There's even pseudo craters that you'll see in different parts of this area of the lake. One thing I do recommend is if it is not windy for you to bring a fly net because there are a lot of little tiny flies here that can be quite annoying. So those were just some of the lovely places in the north that you can enjoy when you come to visit. There are plenty more awesome things to do up here, so I'll definitely be back and showcasing those, but at least you have a taste for now. And thanks again to Go Car Rental Iceland for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned in the description, you can get a 10% discount when you use my code. And let me know of all the places that I visited and showed you in this video, which one you enjoyed. Of course, you know my favorites. No bias there, you know. But if you pick that one, good choice. <laughs> but as always, thank you so much for watching. Definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one.